Hello everyone. I have Mr. Ramesh V. Kapoor, a distinguished industrialist and the president of the US India Security Council here with me. Sir, welcome to India International Film Festival of Boston. This is our seventh year running. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you very much. How do you feel today? I feel great. My, my wife is, is there. Uh, we've been married uh, uh, 51 years. Congratulations. And, uh, you know, I, 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 was, I chased her for two years before she said yes. <laughs> so one of the reporters said, I told her the story, how we met. He said, this sounded like a Bollywood movie, okay? So that's why I'm excited because it brings me nostalgia uh, because uh, when I, you know, uh, uh, chased her for two years, you know, typical Bollywood. There was a lot of nakras, you know, uh, trying to get her to say yes. And now uh, she's uh, uh, my moral compass. Uh, and uh, I am one of the reasons I am where I am is because she has supported me. And the key thing to remember is that if the wife does not support you, man can never achieve anything. All right. So that's what I'm excited about today. That is very nice of you to say that, sir. Since you talk about women and women supporting men, let me take you to a question which is very dear to my heart. How can we empower more and more women? I know the slogan has been going forever, women empowerment. What more can we do? Where is the gap? How can we just break that glass ceiling? What are your thoughts on it? Well, I'm trying to break the glass ceiling. Look, uh, uh, with Kamala Devi Harris, uh, when she ran for the Senate, uh, I supported her. I raised money in my house in Boston early on. She ran for the presidency. I supported her when she ran for the presidency for the first time. I raised money for her in Ohio. I raised money for her in New York. I raised money for her in Washington, D.C. I raised money from in Boston all in the Indian American community, because that's what I do. I raised money across the country since 1986 for the Democratic Party as a hobby. Uh, and so, so I am working, and also with, with uh, Hillary Clinton uh, when she ran for the presidency. And, and you know, uh, it, one of the best achievements, and this is what it is, I, I noticed that the men politicians, you know, there are a lot of promises. But when the women politicians, you don't have to ask anything. If you're supporting them, and they will do things for them that, that you don't even ask for. For example, for Hillary Clinton, when she went to uh, uh, India with Mother Teresa's funeral, she invited me. I never had to ask her. So we flew in Jack Kennedy's Air Force One. A lot of history behind. His casket was brought when he was assassinated, when he was a president, when he came to to Hyannis, he flew on that plane. To my right was Eunice Shriver, his sister, and I didn't even have to ask that. So that's what women women I do. Of course, for Kamala Devi Harris, I raised money for her when she was selected as the vice president with Biden, uh, and uh, uh, and uh, and now I'm raising money, and we have a website called Indian Americans for Kamala Harris or Indian Americans for Kamala Devi Harris. So you know. Talking about how can you support, you're looking at the guy who's doing it. Yes. All right, okay. No Thank talk. you so much. This, there is action and there is Absolutely. results. Absolutely. That's what will make, that is what will make the difference. Thank you so much for supporting yes. uh, the first, maybe women president. No, I'm excited because she'll be the first Indian American president. We okay. are excited too. And you know what, uh, uh, that's when we feel, I think we have arrived is, uh, you know, when, Jack, when uh, 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 Jack Kennedy became president, uh, it was Irish and it was, uh, it was also the, the Catholics felt they arrived. And I think for the first time, we're gonna arrive. We have, we have five uh, uh, congressmen now, uh, uh, state legislatures and, uh, and, and different positions. And, you know, uh, we, and, and now there are two more will be elected. So they're called the Samosa Caucus. And now with seven, we will call them Ladu Caucus. Okay, all right. All right, so I am very thrilled, very optimistic when I hear you speak. 